Murdo Fraser, what are you doing? He wrote this in The Scotsman just the other day. SNP Leadership Contest sees three out-of-their-depth charlatans simultaneously praise and trash Sturgeon's legacy. Murdo Fraser, Conservative MSP, obviously, as I'm sure you know. I think his tone through this article is sort of mocking and scathing. It's very far from respectful political debate. Let's put it that way. But let's see what he's got to say. He writes... Surprised that Kate Forbes has not been crushed by throwing herself under her own Jesus Saves bus, Mr Yousaf's main tactic seems to be along the lines of trying to get the Finance Secretary to admit that the Virgin Mary was a virgin in the hope the SNP membership will recoil. So Murdo, Murdo uses that phrase, throwing herself under her own Jesus Saves bus. Now, Murdo Fraser is a Christian, describes himself as a Christian, I don't know him personally. I've met him a couple of times. Uh, we did a debate together some years ago. But he's the sort of figure that will pop up at events like the National Prayer Breakfast, prayer events in the Scottish Parliament, Christians in politics events in churches, one of them with Kate Forbes, if I remember rightly. Now, here he is attacking a fellow Christian MSP, saying that she's thrown herself under her own Jesus Saves bus. Now, Jesus Saves... What Kate Forbes has been doing has been answering about some of her Christian values. She hasn't been talking about, you know, Jesus saving people. Not that I'm saying there's anything wrong with that. But that's not what she's been talking about. But Murdo Fraser grasps on that as a means of ridiculing Kate Forbes, as a means of appealing to anti-religious sentiment, because everyone knows someone who's saying Jesus saves. Well, they're just ridiculous, aren't they? Of course, what Kate Forbes has really been doing is answering questions about her values, and being open and honest about them sometimes. Now, I feel, I've said in other videos, I feel in some cases, Kate Forbes' ambition has come before being open and honest about what she believes. In Murdo's case, it seems like his uh, quest for political advantage is overwhelming his integrity. Because Murdo Fraser, in saying this, he's stirring up anti-Christian sentiment and is condemning Kate Forbes for speaking about her traditional Christian values. So I'll say to Murdo Fraser again, what are you doing? He went on to say, uh, Miss Forbes's primary school determination has a brutal touch. And Mr. Yousaf has lost nothing of that fifth form chat up he must have used at his private school's Christmas discos. Those eyelashes are real, don't you know? But it is desperate, truly desperate. I would say yes. I mean, those sort of playground taunts and insults. I mean, it does sound desperate. It is desperate stuff. It's below the standard you should expect from any elected representative. And yet this is the depth to which Murdo Fraser is stooping to make his point. Well, let's continue. However, the sadness for the country, for you and me, is that one of these charlatans will be first minister in three weeks. Now, just a, one definition of a charlatan. A person who makes elaborate, fraudulent and often voluble claims to skill or knowledge, a quack, or a fraud. Now, the SNP have used the word charlatan quite freely and loosely in attacking their opponents, and I've been uncomfortable with it when they have. I think it's over the top. It's unjustified. Uh, and again, Murdo might like to reflect on that here as well. But he then goes on to elucidate the faults of the three leadership candidates, one at a time. Of Humza, he says, Mr. Yousaf's self-love will be toxic, if not infectious. Uh, Ash Reagan, he says, enthusiasm doesn't make up for the lack of a credible plan. And what's Kate Forbes' fault? Her righteousness will not be quelled by defeat. In other words, Murdo Fraser is saying that Kate Forbes' fault is her Christian values. That actually she tries her best sometimes to avoid talking about, but that's a fault. So Murdo Fraser is using the word righteousness as an insult as a fault to find with another politician. Now, Murdo Fraser wears the Christian badge, but he really needs to reflect on what he's saying here. Now, I criticise uh, MSPs sometimes. Sometimes I'll criticise Christian MSPs for not speaking out in terms of Christian values, core Christian moral principles. I generally do it in quite a restrained way. More often than not, I'll say something like, no MSP has spoken about this. Whereas what I'm really meaning is the Christian MSPs are, are failing to speak out about this. So I'll be, I'll be quite restrained. Sometimes I'll point the finger at someone individually and say, look, there's an opportunity to speak here. You didn't take it. Whereas Murdo Fraser does the opposite. 
He's criticising Kate Forbes because she has been pressurised into actually speaking about some of her Christian values. So I suggest that Murdo Fraser should apologise to Kate. As a result of what Murdo Fraser has written there, that's just going to increase the likelihood of other Christians who speak with their values being mocked and undermined. He's undermined their position. People who seek to, to persecute and exclude, cancel Christians who hold those sort of views, well, Murdo's backed them up because he's saying those views are you know ridiculous. They're, they're a weakness. They're a fault in someone if they hold those views. What is he doing? But I'll just finish by saying, I think the whole narrative of, you know, Christians in the mainstream parties, look at what they can do. Well, I think it just seems to be falling to bits before our very eyes. So, as always, I would encourage you to join the Scottish Family Party instead. Thanks for watching.